Hey folks, this is Derek Schomer for Monday Show. Um, not normally a scheduled Monday Show, but I have so many things to review that I've been purchasing that I thought it needed to get done. It's uh, it's actually Sunday night about, I don't know what time it is, it's like 12.40 at night, um, almost, or morning? Yeah, 12, it's like Monday morning. So I was doing some rendering, some promotional stuff so I can have some promo videos for the end of next week's episodes with my kids. I thought that would be kind of cute. So I wanted to put together our Mocktails for Kids promo. It's like a minute promo that I was going to throw at the end of this week's videos because it was cool and promotion is a good thing. So what I did is I got this thing called 40 Creek. You may have heard of it. Premium Barrel Select Whiskey. Canadian Whiskey. Why did I buy it? Because the Canadians have asked me to buy this. It's like every time I do an episode with Crown Royal or Canadian Club or like, oh, it doesn't even matter. People are like, dude, you need to get 40, you need to get 40 Creek. Never heard of it. And this is this must be what all the all the Canadians are doing up there is they're getting themselves some, some 40 Creek on. So I added a little bit of water and that's it. Chilled water, filtered, clean water. Sorry, I'm going to shake the table if I do that. I always forget about that. Uh, so, well, let's look at this for a second. Well, that's well, that's baking in its own juices. Uh, so, 40 Creek Whiskey, it's 40 ABV, uh, Ontario, Canada. It's got a little store in the back. That's always nice. I don't like them when they... Uh, you don't have to read them, but I don't like them when there's just like all the Surgeon General government warnings. I find that it's much more fun. It gives you something to do while you're sitting there and you, can, you have a little story to read. So there you go. 40 Creek Barrel Select. Whoa. Potent. Smells really nice, though. I really like whiskey. Um, I don't have my Crown Royal. Let me check that. I just wanted to compare some some of the flavor. No, this is more of a sour, like a, not a sour apple, but it's a sour Seagram 7-like smell to it. This has more of a vanilla, oaky, not intense oak. One of my nostrils seems to not be working. But like a caramel vanilla nut, like, it's almost like a little spicy hint to it. Very inviting, very warming. First thing I thought of was, was kind of like, maybe it's because of the season, but I think of like a, a Thanksgiving feast, you know, a, a festival type, um, end of the season festival, harvest festival for those that don't have Thanksgiving, because I think that's really, at least this time of year, is, an, is a, U, a United States thing. The key, well, I haven't had any alcohol yet today, so that's a little potent. The key, though, is that that nice aroma, while I do accent it with a glass, um, a whiskey sniffer, or a brandy sniffer, really. It's got like that buttery aroma, and that really plays right into that taste. Now, I'm not going to count that as my taste because my face is a little bit on fire. That's okay. Much more subtle on the second approach. It's kind of like when you're coming down on a plane and it's a little rough and they take off and try it again, and the next time it's like nice and smooth. I say that like it's happened to me before. Normally we just come in. It's got there's a it's an overwhelming amount of I don't want to say oak as in oak like you get out of like an oaked bourbon where you get more like a, a white bright oak. This is a little more calming buttery notion where it just feels like a like a, a dark caramel or like a sugar not sugar brown sugar maybe. On, on like a sweet, just the edges of it. Very crisp. Almost, it reminds me of like a, a kicked up maple syrup in a way too. It's just got like a lot of, a lot of flavor and like a mild spices and aromas to it that, while not a spiced product like a spiced rum or a spice box or anything like that, those vanilla notes, which you see in a lot of those spices, kind of comes through. And if I had a... If I had to compare it to an oakiness, I would say more like a Chardonnay or 
uh, maybe not even sure, some sort of wine where there's like that over oak where they use that in wine to kind of take the edge off and kind of cheapen it a little bit. In a, in a whiskey, I think it, it gives it some body and character as long as it's not the dr driving home force, unless it was a vanilla whiskey, then I guess that would make sense. This has a good balance. It's warm, it's smooth. When you even when you take a sip, the aromas that you get already tell you that this isn't going to be a cheap. It doesn't have that sour alcohol smell to it, um, which we're really I think of Seagram Seven, um, even even a little way a uh, kind of Jack Daniels kind of plays into that. I wish I could remember how much I paid for this. Let's see if I could put it in the notes at the bottom, but it feels like I paid a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how old it is. I don't even know if that factors into this specific uh, product, but. It is definitely rich. Toth, toasted earthiness. Uh, vintage sherry casks. So there you're going to get like that, that vanilla. Oh, here you go. Honey, vanilla, apricot fused with toasty oak, black walnut, and spice. Holy crap. I didn't do too bad. I didn't get the black walnut. I did say nuttiness. Um, honey, I, I, I should have got that. That's right there. The honey is right on the start and the finish. You get a little bit of that sweetness that I kind of wanted to say was maple syrup. I guess... They call that honey. Maybe honey in Canada is actually maple syrup. Well, that's there. Uh, but it, I can almost put this on my pancakes. It's that. It's like it's just that good. Um, so there you go. That is the Forty Creek. I think this is going to be fun. Um, I don't know what this is. All oh, these are the ratings. Eight point five. Crown Royal Special Reserve has a seven point five. I don't even know if I can really. Canadian Club has a seven point seven five too. Uh, these guys obviously are competing against those. Uh, better product, no doubt. But I don't know how much it paid. You could probably get Crown Royal cheaper. Doesn't matter to me. Because when I'm making a cocktail, if I'm going to make a Canadian cocktail, I really have learned that in using these really nice, flavorful spirits adds so much to the cocktail that you just don't get by making a cocktail that costs you like two dollars in, in spirits to make it. Sometimes kicking it up is, is just the right approach. And when it comes to whiskey specifically, there's only two bars that you can hit. College level bar, and that's literally like I just need to slam down something pregame before I go to the bar so I don't have to spend so much. And then there's everybody else. And that to me is anybody who's really serious about a whiskey in where they're not just drinking it to get drunk or do something stupid you really should just think about spending an extra 10 or 15 dollars when you get your next bottle and experience all of what whiskey can give you all of the barrel all of the spices all of the flavors the aromas play it all in make it one big package don't just buy one dimension and call it good that's just not fair and for me with the the whiskeys i've had which are all great i, I have no uh, nothing here that makes me want to throw up being able to see what other people have suggested like this, I would have never known about if it wasn't for our show. So I thank everybody who has told me, oh, you need to get Forty Creek. That's the way to go. Uh, I think you guys might be on something. So I just want to share that with everybody else. So now everybody knows. Question of the day. What is the last bottle, the last spirit, liqueur, schnapps, whatever it is that you bought that you were just like, holy crap, where has this been? So there you go. Patricia had a drink.